Tomorrow is Jobs Friday, but today we're going to take a look at a small slice of the job market. High growth startups. Joining us now uh, is Dan Roth, editor in chief at LinkedIn and a CNBC contributor. And what we really, I mean, you can tell us whatever's interesting and what, whatever you found out, Dan, but the, the, the word is that small businesses, A, are having trouble finding the people that they need, and B, would probably be the ones most affected if there was any uh, angst about this trade situation. Yeah, yeah. well, I think that overall what we saw in the job numbers for May was that companies that were affected at all, were dealing with trade at all, saw an impact, especially agriculture, huge drop in hiring in agriculture. So whether that's big business or small business, but big businesses especially cut way back in hiring in agriculture. Also in manufacturing, big drops in manufacturing, which I think are probably more tied to the slowdown, and, I mean, to the shutdown and potential coming shutdowns than any kind of tariff problems. How about just the tightness of the labor market? Is that... It's still a problem. You? Yeah, absolutely. Huh? Really? Yeah, companies still can't hire. The people they want to hire, they can't hire. They want to hire engineers. That is the big one. They want to hire salespeople. Huge demand for salespeople. And there is more openings than there are people that can fill these positions. When you saw the ADP number, mm -hmm. did you have any advance notice based on what you're looking at, or did that surprise you too that it was so weak? It wasn't a surprise. I mean, it wasn't is, a surprise yeah. to go from 270 to 27 in a month? These are the exact, our numbers don't show the same kind of drop that ADP showed, yeah. but the same trend has been happening for the last few months. So there's no way that, uh, that tomorrow is different or, or it doesn't reflect what, what Wednesday's numbers showed? You, you think that you're going to confirm this tomorrow, that it was weak? I think that, I think that over time, these, the government numbers will show the same thing that our numbers are showing, which is that there is less hiring going on in particular industries. But because they can't find the right people or because they don't want to hire? It is a, because they don't want to hire. I mean, for some of these industries, like defense, energy, uh, retail, so about an 8% drop in hiring in retail uh, year over year. These are, these are industries that are saying we are not going to hire at the same rate that we've been hiring. Now, they, they are comped off of pretty big numbers. I mean, last year was a great hiring year. This is one of the best ones we've seen. But there's no question that the lag, there's always a lag between the headlines and hiring, and we are seeing that lag kick in right now. So tariffs, uh, trade, um, the shutdowns, those are all having an impact. You know, the, the retail hiring is an interesting one. We talk about how people aren't stopping spending, they're just spending differently. Um, is it more efficient for an Amazon type operation to be delivering goods to people? They need fewer people, we don't count them the same way? What, what yeah, exactly. I mean, you could still be shopping at a greater rate than you were, but you don't need the same number of people standing around in stores and... You need more uh, warehouse people. You need more warehouse people, right, exactly. Mm -hmm. And Amazon, if you look at the hiring, Amazon is one of the biggest hirers. Right, right. every time, every quarter, they have way more people than you can possibly believe. Do you capture yeah. those usually? Yeah, we do. In the tech, we look at that. And this, so the tech, the software and engineering, the software and IT hiring, right. huge increase last month over month. And that's like Amazon, Microsoft. What about the guys in the warehouse? Are they on, are they on LinkedIn? They're going to show up under Amazon, yeah. They'll, but they'll, they're on LinkedIn. They show up under our Amazon hiring. Do you, do you support... Bernie Sanders proselytizing Walmart for for what they've done. Or, I mean, do you You'd be criticizing Walmart? Yeah, I, I think mean, that preaching. Yeah, proselytizing. Yeah, I, you don't like that word. Or well, you mean like was, was he was he talking? Was he selling? He was, like the, the, went to the Walmart. Right, wanted to go to the, right. Yeah, and they've done uh, organically. Retailers are much higher on average than where the federal minimum wage is, yeah. and it's happening because of the tight. Are you supporting his efforts uh, to do that at, uh, as a private sector guy? Because I know you. <clears throat> well, I think that I would support anything that helps people make more money. and. Would you support a federal minimum wage of $60 an hour? I am. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> yeah, go, go ahead. ahead. Thank I, you. I, I, I want to ask yeah. about your new platform, LinkedIn Live. I'm, okay. I, 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 I've been testing it lately. And my question be is, on your toes. <laughs> what's your vision for that? Because the platform has such potential in e-commerce, but I don't think you're, you're on board for that yet, is my sense, in terms of curating which content is on there. Well, if you, so LinkedIn Live, you, you, you go on, you talk to all your followers. The, 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 the goal of that is to create community conversation. If you want to use it for sales, use it for sales. But what we are, what we see on there, is that people come on to ask to ask questions of people like you, yeah. and they are if, what professionals need is help. They want to understand how to get better at what they do, how to get hired to places, what to do when 
they lost their jobs in retail and where they go right. next and how they deal with an incredibly shifting economy. They're looking for help. You provide that kind of help. And if they can ask those questions live and get answers, that's what they want.